Hello friends, Namaskar, this is Sanjay. In today's video, we will solve the 10 computer literacy questions from the KVS PRT 2018 previous question paper. Now, I have written that this is for PRT, TGT and PGT because if you look at the computer literacy syllabus for PRT, TGT or for PGT, you will see that it is very very similar. Therefore, these 10 questions will be very very useful whether you are preparing for the PRT exam, TGT exam or the PGT exam. So let us get started. Thesaurus tool in MS Word is used for which of the following? Now a thesaurus is a synonym dictionary. So a thesaurus is used for finding synonyms or sometimes a thesaurus can also have antonyms in it. For example, if you were to highlight this word obstacles in a document and click on this thesaurus option, then you'll get this list and in this list, you can see that there are many words which are synonyms. That is, they mean the same. For example, obstacles can mean problems, it can mean difficulties, hindrances, complications. And this list also contains some antonyms. For example, the antonym or the opposite of obstacles can be helps or it can be passages. Therefore, when you look at the answer choices, thesaurus is used for finding synonyms and antonyms of words in MS Word. What is common between the following? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Now, this is a very, very simple question because you are aware that all of these are social media or social networking sites. So when we look at the answer choices, option two, which says social networking sites. So this is the correct answer. Artificial intelligence is the science and engineering for which of the following? So here we are given two statements. We have to identify which of these statements is correct about artificial intelligence. So first of all, what is this artificial intelligence? Well, traditionally, computers follow instructions. Right? However complex the instructions may be, you'll see that ultimately the program or the software that is running on the computer is giving it instructions on what to do and the computer is just following instructions. However, by developing artificial intelligence, we are trying to make computer systems able to think and they should be able to think so that they can perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. That is, we are trying to make computers think and we are trying to make them think in a way that they can think like human beings. So when we look at uh, the statements in the question, we are trying to make intelligent machines right? and we are trying to make machines intelligent enough so that they can think like humans. So both of these statements are correct. Therefore, both A and B is the correct answer here. Which of the following font effect is not available in the MS PowerPoint font dialog box? Now this question is wrong. The reason why this question is wrong is because they have not mentioned what version of MS PowerPoint are we talking about? Because in the old version of MS PowerPoint, right, if you open the font dialog, that is if you right click and click on the font option, you would get this screen and you could see here that there is underline, there is shadow and there is emboss, but there is no strike through, right? So the correct answer here as per the answer key is strike through because that is not available here. However, if you look at the newer version of uh, PowerPoint, then this font option will give you this screen, right? And here you can see that strike through is there. and you can see that underline is also here and both shadow and emboss are missing in the new version of uh, PowerPoint. Therefore, this question itself is incorrect because they should have mentioned which version of PowerPoint are we talking about here. So if you see a question like this, you can challenge it. Which and which are the smallest and the largest font sizes available in the font size tool on formatting toolbar of MS Office? So. If you open any MS Office application and you click on the font size tool, right, which is next to the font option, you'll see that the smallest font size you can see is 8 and the largest font size that you can see is 72. So if you want a font which is smaller than 8, you have to manually enter the number here. And if you want a font which is larger than 72, then you'll have to manually enter the number here. But in the font size tool, the smallest will be 8, the largest will be 72. Therefore, here the correct answer is 8 and 72. Input devices most commonly used on laptops for routine operations are which of the following? As you can see in this laptop, 
the input devices that we commonly use are the keyboard, the touchpad and the mouse. Therefore, when we look at the answer choices, the first one, keyboard and mouse is the correct answer. Option 2 says keyboard and CD-ROM. CD-ROM is used for data storage or data transfer. So this is not an input device. Pen drive. Again, it is used for data storage or data transfer. So this is not an input device. Now there can be a confusion with keyboard and screen because these days many laptops have touch screen and the touch screen can also be an input device. However, here the option is saying only screen. It is not saying touch screen, right? A screen is an output device. Whereas a touch screen can be an input device and an output device because it is saying keyboard and screen here. This is not the correct answer and the correct answer is keyboard and mouse. Which of the following features is used to apply motion effects in between a slide exits and another enters? That is, if you are giving a presentation using some PowerPoint slides, when you are changing from one slide to another slide, you can insert some animation, some special effects between the slide changes. Right? So what is this special effects or animation called? Where you can animate or give some special effects to the exit of one slide and the entrance of another slide or the disappearance of one slide and the appearance of the next slide. So this is called transitions and in PowerPoint you have an option called transitions which will give you a number of special effects or number of motion effects that you can use to exit one slide and make another slide appear. So the correct answer here is slide transition. Which of the following are Indian IT companies? Now this is a very very simple question because you would be aware that Intel and Dell are American companies whereas TCS, HCL and Wipro are Indian companies. So let us eliminate all the answer choices which have Intel or Dell in them. So Intel, Dell, Intel. So which leaves us with option 2 which is HCL and TCS and both are Indian IT companies. Given the following pairs, which of the above is an odd pair? Now let's look at the relation between each of these pairs. If you want to get Wi-Fi at home, you are going to use a Wi-Fi modem. So these are directly connected. If you want to store a file on your computer, you are going to store it on the hard drive. So these are also directly connected. If you want to charge your laptop or your phone, you are going to use a cable. Therefore, these are also directly connected. Chrome is a browser and cable is something that you use to connect to a hardware. Therefore, there is no direct connection between Chrome and the cable. Therefore, Chrome and cable is an odd pair. Right? So B only is the answer here. Which of the following option is used to move data from one place to another in a document in MS Office? Now, when you want to copy data from one place to another in a document, then you'll use copy and paste. If you want to move data from one place to another, you will use cut and paste. Therefore, the correct answer here is cut and paste because when we use cut and paste, we can move data from one place to another in a MS Office document. It can be in Word, it can be in Excel or in PowerPoint. And uh, with that, we have covered all the computer literacy questions from this question paper. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comment section below. I will see you again in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe.